I know, I know, I know. Tuna fish sandwich, what's the big deal? Well, I'm gonna show you how I make the absolute best tuna fish sandwich. Now, you know, tuna fish sandwiches are great on weeknights when you've let the day get away and you have to figure out what to make for dinner. So simple, I always keep tuna in my pantry because I can whip up a tuna fish sandwich any night of the week and I'm saved, right? And I grew up eating tuna fish sandwiches, of course. They were always one of my favorite sandwiches to have. When my mom put egg salad or tuna fish in my lunch bag, that was a great sandwich day. And I love tuna fish on a soft, squishy white bread, but I also like it toasted too. But I don't like a tuna melt. I don't like cheese on my tuna fish sandwich. Well, one day one of my friends posted on Facebook a tuna fish sandwich on grilled bread. And I thought, that's brilliant. Why did I never think of that? So this is one of my tricks that I do to make this tuna fish sandwich outstanding. The first thing I do is I do have a hearty uh, white bread here. It's actually called a French peasant by the um, franchise breadsmith that's in our town. If you have a breadsmith, I love the French peasant. It's kind of a hearty white, so it's got that softness of a white, but it has a little bit of cracked grain in there too, so it has a little bit of flavor and texture. And I just think for some reason, this is the perfect <laughs> bread for tuna fish sandwich. But of course you could do anything. And if I were doing, you know, like a, a squishy, squishy, I would probably go for like a super squishy, you know, sandwich bread that you get, you know, from the bag. So anyway, what I do here is good quality butter. I butter on each side and I pop it on the grill. I have got a medium high griddle here. Obviously you can do this in a cast iron pan. You can do this in a, regular old frying pan, but I do like to use my grill, my griddle. And all I do is I just cook it on the one side. I don't do both sides. And the reason that I really, really like this, this griddled bread rather than toaster bread is because even though I love the flavor of a toasted bread on a tuna fish sandwich, sometimes, you know, it's just, it kind of, it's too crunchy, it's too hard. And it's just, uh, this, this griddled bread is just perfect because you end up with this butter flavor, number one. And number two, it's, you know, semi-soft, so you're not getting that harsh, um, that harsh sharpness of a toast. But again, you know, it's all a personal preference. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna put that on our plate here. All right, so that's our bread. We've got that going. All right, the bread is grilled and waiting for the tuna salad. So let's get going on that. All right, what do I have here? I have two cans of albacore tuna. Now I like albacore tuna. Obviously, any kind of tuna that you like. I think albacore is good. It has a nice flavor. It's not too fishy. I have drained these, and it is in pretty big chunks. I'm just gonna loosen those chunks up a little bit. And what I have that I love, and this is what I do every single time, and I absolutely love it. I start with some actually pretty finely uh, diced cherry tomatoes, okay? And you could use you know, a whole big tomato if you have one. All I have is cherry tomatoes. I get those pretty finely chopped. So I have about eight cherry tomatoes here. I have one celery stick that I've also chopped fairly fine. And I do the leaves and all. There's a lot of flavor in those leaves and they're delicious. They're safe to eat. There's nothing wrong with that. I think we all grew up throwing away our celery leaves, but there's nothing wrong with the celery leaf. And then I have about three tablespoons of finely minced onion. And again, that's to taste. If you don't like onion, don't put it in. I like red onion in my salads, my sandwich salads and a lot of my like pasta salads. I just think it has a just a sweeter, um, more pleasant flavor. I just love a red onion. But here's what also makes it really, really delicious. I have here some freshly uh, minced parsley. And I also have some dill. I don't usually put dill in, but it's growing right now. We have the parsley, the dill, the basil, all that stuff growing in my pots outside. And this dill is growing like crazy. So dill is delicious, of course, especially with fish. So I'm gonna throw some of that dill in there. All right, and you have to add extra salt. I know you probably think that's salty enough. I don't. I always put a little extra salt and some pepper, of course. And that's, of course, to taste. And I'm gonna guess this here. One, two, I'm gonna start with three tablespoons of good mayonnaise. I love Hellman's. And we, we don't have like Dukes around here, which I, Dukes I think is a lot like Hellman's and some people say they like that better. Um, we just didn't grow, Dukes was just not here. I'm in Wisconsin, Dukes was just not found. And I think it can be found now, but it's still not very common here. And somebody told me that Hellman's and Dukes are the same. 
Um, I grew up eating Miracle Whip, which I actually like, but I've just grown to really super, super love almonds mayonnaise. Miracle Whip is, they call it a spread, not actually mayonnaise, but it's very close. Oh, I'm drooling. All right, let's take a taste. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Seasoning is perfect. It doesn't need any more salt. It doesn't need any more pepper. Everything's great in there. And now I'm going to make my sandwich. All right. So remember, we're only grilling one side of the sandwich. And that's what's going to keep it soft. And that butter, of course, is going to get that added flavor. Now this is two cans of tuna. And so I'm making two sandwiches. So I'm pretty much doing a can of tuna fish on here. I see, of course, as always. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm going to put that into this and make a mess. Right, let's take a look at this. Look at that. How beautiful is that? All right, I cannot wait to bite into this. Now, sometimes if you're going lower carb, what I'll do is I'll do this open face, maybe with just one piece of bread, or what else is delicious is if you take a full good ripe tomato, you gut it out a little bit and you put the tuna in there. Actually, the tuna with that tomato, that extra tomato is so delicious, I love it. So either way you choose it, let me know in the comments if you've ever had a grilled tuna fish sandwich. All right, let's get a taste of this and see what it tastes like. Mm-hmm, mm. 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 That bread, that toasted bread with the butter, it's so good. And then the tuna with a couple extra veggies and herbs, mm, just makes it perfect. This is delicious. The cameraman is drooling. We gotta go eat this. This is our dinner tonight, quick and on the run. Hope you try this too. See you on the next one. Please subscribe.